Hello fellow creatives, thank you for tuning in today. Are you interested in writing a novel or a short story, but you just don't know where to begin it? Do you just have the idea? Do you want some tool to help you generate some helpful questions and answers to your storylines to help you where you're stuck in your writing? Well, there are various AI writing tools out there at your disposal that will help you to start creating your story. The one that I found that was very helpful and inexpensive was one called Writer, R-Y-T-R. That's how it's spelled. And I left a link below for you to check it out. It is subscription based where you either pay $9 a month or $30 a month. Yes, there are free AI writing tools out there too, but you are limited with a couple thousand words until it regenerates in a month and you don't get as many templates as you may need and I don't want to wait a month to write my story. And trust me, you'll need lots of words to write a short story or a novel, even a screenplay. The Writer AI tool will help you with all sorts of writing, which includes responding to an email, all the way to coming up with a plot for your ideas in just a matter of seconds. Yes, it's that quick. It even has a plagiarism checker to see if the paragraph that it wrote wasn't written by someone else. Let's begin writing and I will go into detail with the templates you notice on the left. Here's my idea for a story I want to write. It's an action adventure about a young archaeologist in her 20s who is contacted by a museum curator to find a stolen artifact that is worth millions. Through her quest, she runs into thieves who also want that artifact. That's my idea. I don't know where else to take it. Let's see what the AI writer can do. Before you add your story idea, you'll need to become familiar with the left side of your screen. I know it may seem technical, but it really isn't. It's very simple to follow and you can play around with it as much as you want to get different results. It's actually really fun to mess around with. And the cool thing about this program is that you can use any language that you want. Just locate your native language and you're set. Don't worry about the tone just yet. You want to find the story plot template first. Click on the Choose Use Case drop down menu and locate the story plot. It's very easy to find because it's in alphabetical order. So scroll down a little. There it is. Just click on it. As you can see, your templates have changed a little. Below is an area where you type your text into the story idea box. You'll notice you only have 200 characters, so make sure you write as much information as you can. The AI is smart, so don't worry about grammar or punctuation at this moment. Now let's add my text prompt. Then, when you are finished writing your prompt, you'll notice below is a section that says number of variants and creativity level. It's exactly what it means. The number of variations will generate however many plot ideas that you want. There are only three variants, so if you choose one variant, you'll only get one story plot idea. If you want three, you'll get three. Very simple. So I'm choosing three variants because I want as much help as I can. The creativity level just means you're letting the AI tool create exactly what you wrote or you let the AI take a little control away from your text prompt, but still aligns with your prompt without straying too far. So I'm choosing optimal for the time being, so as to stay optimistic with my text prompt. I can always go back and mess around with the creativity level. That's what makes this so cool. Now let's head to the top right next to the language selection. Select tone. This just describes how emotional you want your plot to be written. Do you want it to be written in an assertive tone or in a funny tone? That's your prerogative, depending if you're writing a comedy. But for me, I'm writing something with urgency, so I'm going to choose urgent as my tone. And you'll notice it's also in alphabetical order to find it easier. Okay, let's complete the task now. Navigate below to the orange box and press right for me to generate your text prompt. And in a matter of seconds, you've gotten three variants of your story idea. And it gave me some great ideas and even placing a name to the characters. Isn't that cool? And you can modify your paragraphs or rewrite it if it doesn't sound good to you. If you highlight the entire paragraph, you get an option box where you can choose from different tools like rephrasing your text, improving it, and more. Choose what best is good for you. I want to keep writing my paragraph. So I highlight the entire paragraph and click on the continue writing tool. It will generate another sentence for you. You can either type yourself or let the AI do the typing for you. It's up to you and you just modify it at your interest. If you don't like anything, just fix up your text prompt some more. Now let's see what happens when I change the tone and the creativity. Let's change it from urgent to formal and the creativity from optimal to max, less factual. As you can see, it wrote the plot in a more formal manner and you have the ability to manipulate your plot as much as you want. One cool thing about this AI writing tool is that you can make an AI image from your text prompt. That's right, you don't need Midjourney or Dolly. You have one at your disposal. Just select from 10 to 100 characters and press the AI image and you'll see your image generated. Isn't that nuts? 
Okay, let's try something else. I need more help with my text prompt. I don't know why the museum curator needs help and why the artifact is important, etc. Let's use the same text prompt but use a different template. Let's look for questions and answers in the drop down menu. As you can see, the text box area changed to topic description and you have 250 characters instead of the 200. So, if you need to add more to your text prompt, go for it. Let's see what happens when I reuse the same text prompt. And I'm going to use the same tone and the same creativity level. Now, click write for me. As you can see, it created a list of questions and answers to my topic to help me gather more information as to how to develop my story further. If you're stuck in something and don't know how to continue, maybe asking the AI tool in the questions and answers section can help you with your trouble in writer's block. Now let's create a paragraph with one of the questions and answers to give you more input for your story. This is really, really cool. You'll need to highlight at least 30 characters or more to generate a paragraph. I just want to make a paragraph of this question. As you can see, it generated a paragraph with more useful information and you can keep generating text for it. This is a very valuable tool for writers and I'm already using it to write my next comic book and I will definitely use it to write a novel. I've always wanted to write a novel, but I just didn't know how to begin it. This will help me tremendously. And as I mentioned, nothing is written in stone. You can always go in and change it up to your liking. So if you're interested in writing or you are stuck in a writer's block, why don't you use an AI writing tool such as Writer? I will check out other AI tools like Jasper or hyper right soon, so look out for those videos. Let me know if this was helpful to you. I tried to be as informative as I could with the steps. You can always go back and pause to see what I did. Well, that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a like. I'd appreciate it very, very much. And it will help me with that YouTube algorithm to get me out there. Thank you for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on that subscribe button. I promise you it's not going to hurt, but it will hurt my feelings if you don't. And then click on that notification bell icon to get notified of my new videos. And if you haven't checked out my videos yet, well, check them out. There may be some useful information that you need. This is Art, signing off, and don't forget to muse it or lose it.